Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Apex interface. So I'm logging in to my workspace. Uh, I'm logging in as developer Ashwini and I've entered my password. So when I come into Apex, this is the interface that I have. We have an application builder area, an area for SQL workshop, and you can see that you also have the same navigation in tabs so you have more than one way in which to get to the different interfaces for the development tool. As a developer, I won't do anything in the administration area, but as a developer, I might come into the team development area. For this video series, I have created four developer accounts in addition to the administrator account for this particular Apex workspace and I want to just start by coming in here. I've already done this so I'm not showing how to do this in the video but with team development you can create features and to-do lists and assign who is responsible. So if I click on to-dos I see the developers. I have Jan, Diana, Ben, and Ashwini and we have their open items. So if I click on Ashwini I can see the tasks that have been assigned to her to complete and it shows that we have 80% completion on the uh, draft of the data model. Now let me come back out and just take a look in general at some of the, the, the two main areas that we will work with. Uh, we will work with Application Builder. This is where we will create an application and the pages and items that are part of that application. But we will start with SQL Workshop. So if I come up here, I can get to the same area. And under SQL Workshop, we have the object browser. We can run single execution SQL commands. We can run scripts of SQL commands. And we have utilities, and we'll use this to import data. So for the object browser, if I click on that, what I see here are a set of tables that have been installed when I created the workspace um, in a previous video. And I will actually clear these out because I do not want the sample videos or sample uh, applications in this, in this workspace. So by the time we start the next video I will have taken those things out and I will have deleted that sample application. You can do that or not. let's take a look at the SQL command interface. This is the interface you use if you want to run a single SQL statement. And then we will be using the SQL scripts area shortly because that will allow us to run scripts that will create tables and then insert scripts that will populate the tables with data. A little bit later we will use the utility area and do the data workshop and we'll use that to import uh, a CSV file and have it put the data in an existing table in the database. So in the next video we'll come back in and use SQL workshop to get some tables and data installed in the database.